Hello everybody, I am Alex S. Warrior, and welcome back to Pokemon Gold. Last time. Anyway, after that little misclick, last time we beat the Saffron City Gym Leader and got our, I think it's called the Marsh Badge, well it's the Gold Badge in the Javanese version. Point is, we got our second Gym Badge of Kanto, and in this episode, I am going to, f well first I'm going to find my way out of here and see if we can find our way to the next point of interest, the next gym. And as you can plainly tell, I'm not well versed in this area. Whoops. That's okay. No, he's just meow into wherever we're about to go. And according to the back of the sign, the, oh, the flyer's torn, it's impossible to read. Well, ain't that just the bee's knees? I wonder if you, any of these people can help us. Unless, of course, we've already beaten them. Bummer. That's the problem with... Oh, wait. There's somebody we know. How does the magnet train work? Well, you see, you get on and you go places. that That's all you need to know. you think for a super nerd, he'd know that. Anyway, this man's gonna send out a Grimer. And I'm gonna send out a Charger. I mean, it doesn't really matter who I send out, because everyone needs a bit more experience for, you know reasons. Reasons that include upcoming gym battles, and a very important battle at the end of the game. It's gonna help a lot. And the next Pokemon he's about to send out is a Muck. As much as I'd love to have Charger out for this, um... We're gonna send in Bruce. That way, everyone gets more experience. You know, the two that could take care of this in one shot are already, you know, high enough level as is. I like to make sure things are equal around here. Why do you still have Pound at level 34? Bruh. Now I'm the confused one. I mean, is that really the only attack you have that can... I hate it here. How have you not hit yourself with confusion yet? What? <laughs> That's three turns in a row. Confused no more. I don't think you were even confused to begin with. Now, uh, let's see how much this does. Okay, that's not bad. And I think Bite should finish the job, though I don't know how good Muck's special defense is. Oh my, that has to be like 2 HP or something. No matter, we can just do it again. Do it again. And that there takes care of the super nerd. I just want to see the magnet train. Keep waiting. Anyway. Go down here. That's another trainer. We can't do without electricity. The power plant supplies us with electricity. That it does. Very perceptive of you. And that's right, this is this is alluding to the to the side quest with the power plant. Which is something we need to do if we want to, you know, beat all the gyms. And that's a magnemite. Or as I like to call it, fire punch fodder. Goodbye. And that should be just enough to level us up. Yep. Level 45, and I... Hmm. I don't know if Charger gets any more level up moves. But we get more we get more target practice with Fire Punch! Is Magnemite all this dude has? That'd actually be sad if that were the case. Yep, just three mag- just- Can you just, you know, combine all three of those? Get yourself a Magneton? What are you doing? And they're all over level 30! You could have three Magneton if you really wanted to. Don't waste electricity. Don't waste evolution opportunities either. Welcome to Lavender Town. 
Goodbye. <laughs> There's nothing of importance for us there, so we don't really have to deal with it. Now, if I'm not mistaken, up here is the rock tunnel. And right here is a trainer. <laughs> what are you laughing at, you jerk? Am I just here to amuse you, Hiker Jim? And you're my champ? <laughs> you know, I should be scared of this. But we also have a flying type. Vital Throw. I actually forgot what Vital Throw does, aside from not a lot of damage. I could be thinking of Storm Throw, but wait, yeah, no, Storm Throw is a, is a 40 base power attack that always crits. Vital Throw, I'd have to look up what that one does and put it on screen. Because I won't be getting another chance to use it, I can tell you that much. And Hiker Jim is defeated. Achoo! Oh, he's allergic to how skilled we are. This is Route 10. Really see yep. Through here is the rock tunnel. As you can plainly see, it's a dark cave. But luckily, we have someone who can help with that. And now we can get the items out. Get some items like an elixir. And we can go up there to see what. If we don't run into any wild Pokemon, of course. Oh, it's a Cubone! That's a Pokemon I've always wanted to train, but I've never gotten a chance to train a Cubone or Marowak. Marowak. I should probably change that one day. Because I really do like... I like both their designs. TM47. I actually forgot what this one is. Let's see. TM47 is... Come on, come on. <gasps> Steel Wing! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! We are teaching this to Crobat right away. On second thought, not right away. Because, well, you know how we have a mean look? We're going to have to keep that for a little while. Well, that way, we can, you know, catch a few important Pokemon. Oh, and I guess the Pokemon that saw us didn't like any of that. Sorry, Geodude. Geodude. One of the most fun Pokemon to do the voice impression of. Anyway, I think we should swap Lorax out front. Because most, if not all, the encounters within the Rock Tunnel are, well, either Rock or Ground type. And being honest, this place is a lot different than how I remember it being in Fire Red. But maybe that's just because I never used Flash in Fire Red because I never got the, you know, HM for it. I know, it's sad. <laughs> Basically, in Fire Red, all I did was just hug the walls, and that always brought me to the exit. Did anyone else figure that out as a kid? More importantly, do I have any repels on me? All this experience is nice and all, but it's getting kind of annoying. I'm having to stop every two, every like five steps. Yeah, nope, no repels. Okay, we're doing this the old-fashioned way. <laughs> that includes running into every Kangas coin! Okay! Oh, man. I was not expecting you here. <laughs> this is a, not even a bad surprise. Kangas Khan is cool. Unfortunately, you're in our way. Goodbye. Come on! D-pad, work with us! 
And there's the only non-rocker ground encounter in here. Hello, Zubat. I don't even want to bother with you. Goodbye. And there's another Cubone. I might end up just skipping all the encounters in the editing. But that would require me to be quiet. Yeah, I can do that. And... I might end up just fast-forwarding through all, most of this. Yeah, I think fast-forwarding might be the play- D-pad, work with me! We're gonna end up getting nothing done this episode. Oh, that's an item. Okay, iron. That boosts the defense EV. But that's not a way out of here, unfortunately. Oh, an onyx! We haven't seen one of these yet. I don't think we... Nah. Yeah, yeah, we can take this thing out. Even if it's just level 16, it should provide some good experience. Let me just shut my mouth. Anyway. This entire episode is literally just gonna be me- It's gonna be me uh, getting lost in a cave. With no repels to my name. Uh, let's see. Yep. Okay, this is... Yeah, this is a, just a maze. I mean, it wasn't a total- oh wow, a chop. I'm surprised we haven't seen one of those yet. It wasn't a total loss, we got some good items. But there's a better way for us to get to Vermilion. My guy, please! Thank you! No, uh... Uh... Yes, I like Pokémon. Like, obviously, I wouldn't have spent, like, 20 minutes in that cave if I didn't. Ooh, a Quagsire! That's perfect for what we're leading with! And you know what? I'm feeling pretty frustrated from how long I, s I spent in there. Your Quagsire is going to get vaporized today. Oh. Prepare for that. Anyway. Please, Oko, otherwise I'm going to feel really silly. Okay, good. Aw, oh, man, so close to leveling. <laughs> I'd have to say, that's my loss. Sure is, pal. Anyway, welcome back to Lavender Town. I am healing up, because that was a long, long adventure through that cave that ultimately ended up doing not much for us. Especially when we have a better route to, you know, the towns we're trying to get to. I feel dumb. I don't even know where to get the Poke Flute. Maybe one of these houses will help. Uh, yep. This is the volunteer house. Some cold-hearted people stop caring for their Pokémon. Grandpa takes in the poor homeless Pokémon and takes care of them. We need more places like this in the real world. Mr. Fuji does, n does live here, but he's not home now. He should be at the Soul House. I bet, I bet the devil from Cuphead would love a place like that. Now you might be wondering, where is the Soul House? Good question. I don't know that either. And I just so happened to find it, <laughs> right? Ah, uh, god, I didn't. People come from all over to pay their respects to the departed souls of Pokémon. And this is Mr. Fuji. Welcome. You appear to be raising your Pokémon in a kind and loving manner. Pokémon lovers come here to pay their respects to departed Pokémon. Please offer condolences for the souls of the departed Pokémon. I'm sure that will make them happy. 
That's it, no Poga Flute. I'm getting sad. We're we're getting out of here. Okay. And I'm I'm trying to remember if this is true in the re remakes as well. Lavender Town, the noble purple town. If this is still the Pokemon Tower, nope, converted to a radio station. And something about that just feels really tasteless. Just Tower of Pokemon that have dearly, dearly departed, converted to a radio tower. I don't like that. That's... That seems wrong to me. Anyway... Moving on up in the world will... <sighs> Sometimes I hate this D-pad so much. But we gotta live with it. And if we move on to the left... Don't know what route this is. Let's check the town map. This is Route Seven. And oh, just like that, we're already in another town. Polyrath. You did say Polyrath, right? Alright, where are we? Trainer tip. I don't think we're in trainer tips, I can tell you that much. Okay, this is Celadon City. Yep, Celadon City, the Rainbow Dream City place type area. And that unfortunately means we have to swap out one of our party members to get to the gym. Bummer. You know what? So much nothing happened in that cave, I think we can... I think we can afford to squeeze in a gym battle. Just gonna... Uh... Sorry, Peekaboo, but I don't think you'll be doing very well in this gym. And we're gonna get cut in on the mix. Yep, we need to use Cut to get to an entire gym. It's not even like Lieutenant Surge where you just, you know, surf around. You genuinely need Cut for this. Cut used Cut. And that, that, yeah. All there is to it. And we'll be swapping out Bruce to the front. And thus, we have made it to the gym. <laughs> this gym is great. Only girls are allowed here. You secko. Anyway. This is the Celadon Gym. As you can probably tell from all the trees, it's a grass-type gym. That means no mercy will be given by either Bruce or Natsu. Victory Bell. A really cool grass poison type, but it's physically oriented, meaning it doesn't really get, you know, to utilize its grass type moves until Gen 4. But the poison typing does help, I think. I don't know if this thing can learn Sludge Bomb. And level 45. And a, oh, a vile plume. We had to fight one of those during the Elite Four challenge. It was like last time. Wait, no, Natsu took care of it the last time. This time we can just fly in and get the KO. And it's super effective. And there we go. Oh no, we lost. Yeah, that tends to happen. Anyway. Wait, only girls are allowed here. I mean... Why? 
Does that include challengers? <laughs> that seems a bit sketchy to me, not gonna lie. Like, are you just gonna gatekeep, like, a whole, whole bunch of people from being able to I hate it here? <laughs> okay, good. Cotton Spore failed. That means Bruce remains the fastest thing alive. Bye, Skip Loom. I love your design, but god, you're a terrible Pokemon. <laughs> Straight up, one of the uh, worst Pokemon you could use in a Gen 2 run. I love Jump Up. It's adorable. It's not something you should be using if you, you know, want to win. But if it's your favorite, I'm not going to stop you. Hop it. How far into the game are we? Uh, can someone remind me? Pin badges? Cool. What the heck? <laughs> There's Jumpluff. Okay, good. You just have the entire line. That's that's understandable. And I forgot how good the sprite for Jumpluff looked back in Gen 2. I like I like Jumpluff a lot. I like its design, but it is uh, not something I would use. Unfortunately. And there we go. Oh, bleh. <laughs> yeah, just bleh. Oh, a battle? That's kind of scary, but okay. At least this one doesn't try to shoo us out of the gym. This one's nice. Executor. Hmm. It's part psychic. That could be scary, but, uh. We have fly. And it has stomp. I forget. Does Executor get psychic type moves in this gym? It's probably a dumb question, but. It's just something I'm curious about. Also, Bruce gets to level 46 from this. Let's go. And there goes the picnic person. Oh, that's it? Yep. Yeah, it is. What are you so... What are you so alarmed over? <laughs> You're looking at these flowers or at me? Probably the flowers, I'll be honest. Let's see... Paris. Water week to flying. Goodbye. Oh, we're running out of flies, so we should probably... Probably switch out to someone else, that way we have enough for the gym leader. Execute. Yeah, we could probably just use Bite on that. Bye bye And last, and probably not least, hopefully... Parasect! Oh boy, we get to bring in our Fire-type! Look, it's an interesting concept. I have grown to really dislike Parasect because of Legends Arceus. Frickin' bullies! Get out of my sight! Bye bye How annoying! Yeah, I know, Parasect can be quite annoyed. Anyway! This is the gym leader. Hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? It's isn't it so pleasant. I'm afraid I may doze off. My name is Erica. I'm the leader of the Celadon Gym. Oh, all the way from Jono, you say? How nice. I'm sorry I didn't realize that you wish to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. Say what you will, I like Erica. I like her personality, just, you know, not in the anime. This is the grass-type gym leader, Erica. And her first Pokémon is a Tangela. 
the only pure grass type from Generation 1. I find that so weird. Well, we're gonna start the battle with a fly. Fine. This late in the game? I mean, it kind of makes sense. It's a little vine monster friend. Still. Oh wow, it barely didn't KO. Giga Drain. We Claude resist that. But that is a really, really good move. That I do want to try to teach to one of our Pokemon eventually. And since it's so low on health, we can just bite to finish the job. And get a decent amount of experience out of it. Erica's next Pokemon is Victory Bell. We fought one of those at the entrance. No problem. Oh, it's equal level to us. This might actually take a few hits. Oh! Okay, that might be an issue. Might be, because we do quad resist Solar Beam. But the fact it's setting it up might be an issue. For her! <laughs> Good thing about Sunny Day, it powers up fire type moves. Natsu, it's time for you to wreck shop. This is Bell Awesome, a pure grass type that actually evolves from Gloom. Yep, Generation 2 added a split evolution for Gloom. Now it can evolve into both Vile Plume, Bell Awesome. And I honestly really like Bell Awesome. It's a shame it has to, you know, get obliterated by the sunny day that its teammates set up. Oh, level 47. Yay! And Erica's last Pokemon is a Jump Bluff. And just for style, we're gonna send in Charger. Because Sunny Day is still up. And we have Fire Punch. Don't worry, this'll, this'll only hurt a lot. I love this game. <laughs> Bye, John Bluff. And with that, Erica has been defeated. Oh, I can see defeat. You're remarkably strong. I shall give you the rainbow badge. And thus, the rainbow badge. That means all of our Pokémon are now gay. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> that was a delightful match. I felt inspired. Please, I wish you were to have this TM. Weird sense aside, we get Giga Drain. A move we are teaching to Lorax right away. Please use it if it pleases you. It does. It very much does. Giga Drain is a fantastic move. Losing leaves a bitter aftertaste, but knowing that there are strong trainers spurs me to do better. That's a really nice way to look at it. Anyway, like I said, Giga Drain is a really, really good move that is up here. It does a lot of damage, though it gets buffed in later gens, and it heals the user. Oh, I forgot, Bruce can learn it too. But we're teaching it to Lorax, because, you know, step. And it's going to be replacing Razor Leaf, as much as we've been loving using it. Now Giga Drain is our main attacking move for Lorax. And with that, I think we can end off the episode on a high note. You know, after we cut down that tree again. I wonder how the grass type Jim Lear feels about the fact that we're cutting a tree just to get to our gym. Cut used cut, once again. Anyway, next time on Pokemon Gold. I had to remember what game we're playing, because this entire episode's been long and bl and brain draining. Next time on Pokemon Gold, we'll be challenging another gym. Where is that gym? Even I don't know. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.